hello sis hello bro how y'all doing i haven't been on youtube in about three weeks as y'all can hear my voice i have been sick uh first my allergies hit me real bad then a cold hit me real bad so for the last couple of days i have not even been able to talk like you hear me sis like i have not been able to talk y'all and look y'all all my old subscribers i don't like to say subscribers but all my old friends recognize this background yes yes y'all i am recording in my old room again with my old background again so you'll see a lot more videos come with this background i've added some things to the wall as y'all can see so um yes sis, this is gonna be the background for a while maybe i'll take y'all this way so y'all can see more of the background right there because that is like I love that pink right there. Y'all know. Y'all see the pink? Pink? Y'all know. Anyways, this video is going to be about, you know, the things that I am looking forward to wearing as far as fragrance because it was requested from me by two um, YouTubers or two subscribers to do a video about... Um, spring and summer fragrance um, for migraine and headache sufferers and allergy sufferers or people that just don't like loud smells. So I'm going to try to incorporate this video, uh, incorporate that into this video because y'all, my life is so busy, like so busy right now. I don't think I've had an off day in a long time. Like tomorrow, I finally get a day to myself. Um, today it was snowing, whatever, so I didn't do too much, but I did have to go to work for four hours, so whatever. So I'm going to talk about those fragrance, and the fragrance I actually wear. Y'all know I suffer from migraines and allergies. Excuse me, my voice is going in and out. Um, also, two of, um my new items that I got new sweaters that I'm excited to wear and I hope I can wear them because y'all know we approaching spring like really really fast next month is spring the official start of spring I think it's like the 22nd or something to March so I'm gonna incorporate that and a couple of luxury things that I have been loving I guess I should say maybe designer or high-end or whatever you want to call it so um Let's start off with, um, I feel like I always have to adjust my camera, but it's just way too high. So y'all, let's start off with um, the fragrance because this was asked of me to do this video. Okay, I'm not going to go through all my fragrance because majority of my fragrance that I wear are spring and summer fragrance because that's my favorite smell is fruit. The smell of fruit and coconut and you know things of that nature but I'm gonna give you a few okay one light smell that I discovered that don't give me a headache once again I do not wear fragrance in this area because no matter how light it is I'm I can smell it all through the day and it's eventually gonna give me a headache so I usually put my fragrance on my back on the lower parts of my arms and on the bottom parts of my legs before I put my uh, clothes on Okay, so one fragrance is this Grapefruit Breeze. It has a very light um, grapefruit kind of sweet smell. So this is a good one. You know, you can make almost any fragrance light if you don't spray so much of it. Okay, so excuse me, I'm gonna be bending down because some of the stuff fell on the floor. Another fragrance that I wear is Temptation Lace by Victoria's Secrets. As you can see, I don't wear any of these a lot because there are some days that I, <coughs> excuse me, that I just cannot wear fragrance. I just can't. So this is one of them. It's got like a, 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 a very light like lime smell. Yeah, very light lime smell. So it looks like this. Now I don't know if Victoria's Secrets and Bath and Body Works still makes these fragrance. You know, probably so. You probably can get them, you know, I don't know, but another one is Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. 
you know, maybe I need to bring this up a little closer so you guys can see. This, of course, is called Georgia Peach. So it smells like a Georgia Peach. And it's very light. Um, this right here is Magnolia, Sweet Magnolia. And I think I wore this the most last spring when I got it. It's even got hair and stuff on it because I had it in my purse and stuff. This smells like lime. I think that's one of the... One of my favorite smells is like lime and watermelon. It smells like lime, but it's got it's not a strong lime like uh girl, are you making <laughs> daiquiris or something? No. Okay, let's bring it up to the coconut. I have fresh coconut, and this is Bath and Body Works. Let's see what this smells like. I haven't really used this. It smells exactly like what it says, coconut. And it's got like a, a fresh smell to it, but it's not strong at all, sis. Not strong at all. Okay, this is one of my favorites too. Mango, the mango smell. I love this bottle. I'm, I'm all for the, gl the glitz. This is also from Bath and Body Works. And it smells exactly like it says mango, but it's a soft smell that wouldn't give me a headache as long as it's not sitting in this area. You know how a lot of people spray perfume right here, right here, and down here? I can't do that. So it smells good, sis. It smells really good. Let me do two more. Okay, here's one that I actually got from Bath and Body Works. It was actually on clearance for $3, but they kind of, they sell this all year round. I've seen them in there. And this is also mango, but here's the difference between this mango and this mango, the mango from Bath and Body Works. You know the difference? This is very, very light. A very, very light smell. This is not a light, not as light as this one, and also this one costs way more than this. This is originally the one from Bath and Body Works is originally fourteen dollars. This is only eight ninety. So if you are somebody that suffers from migraines and you have bad allergies, and let me just tell y'all a backstory. I did not start suffering from allergies and stuff like this until I moved to Georgia. All the pollen, Georgia is filled with trees. There's trees, grass everywhere. So yeah, I didn't suffer until I moved here. So this is very, very light. Matter of fact, I'm going to spray this. Oh, that's how light it is. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. Sis, if you're going to the beach, like y'all know that time of the year is coming up. Spray this on yourself before you go to the beach and your man will be all up in her. All up in her. All the whole time. He ain't worried about that beach. He ain't worried about that, that girl that just walked past that got a body like Nicki Minaj and a face like Holly Berry. He not worried about that. He shouldn't be worried about that in the first place anyway, sir. But still, you know what I'm saying, sis. Spray this on. He'll be right here. Right here. Right here. The whole time. <laughs> okay, let me see if I got a strawberry one. Let's see. Everything keep rolling off of this seat. Okay, so I think I might got... Yes, I have a strawberry because I keep showing y'all the same thing. So I got a strawberry one. And this is also from Bath and Body Works. Now, mind you, all of these were uh, on their annual sale. So I didn't pay full price for none of these. These were all $3. And I missed the sale, but y'all can see how much stuff I have body splash and perfume I have. I don't need nothing else. This year is all about saving. I don't need nothing else. This is a little stronger. It has a strong strawberry smell. But if you know what a strawberry smells like, it's not like, ooh, knock you out. Like my Tyson punch. So you can get away with this if you don't spray so much. And I love this bottle. It's so pretty. Okay, so let's get into more of a perfume. Let's get into more of a perfume. Um, I got this um, Descendant Dance. 
And I got this from Home Goods, but I've seen this in Marshalls. And y'all know Home Goods is basically TJ Maxx with a little extra. This was $12. Let me sh let me bring that close to this. This has a light coconut smell, a very light coconut smell. But don't spray too much because if you spray too much of this, because this lasts, honey, this lasts all day, the next day, the day after. So don't spray so much because you will constantly smell this. And this was only $12. And I've been having this for about two years. Y'all see I don't use it very often because, you know, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it's my gastroparesis or what. But it's been causing me to have migraines for the last two years. But, okay, I got one more, y'all. This is watermelon lemonade. That's one of my favorite smells is watermelon. This is also from Bath and Body Works. Let's see what this smells like. Sis, it smells just like what it say, watermelon lemonade. And watermelon is not a strong smell, neither is lemonade. So you can get away with this. Okay, and one of the things I do, because even though those are very light spring and summer smells, I still kind of don't want to smell them like strong. Like, you know, you get in your car and you blast that air conditioner and the first thing that hits you right in your face is the smell of your car, then the smell of your perfume. I still don't wanna smell that. So what I do is I spray my perfume on and I use like Baby Magic. This is a light smell and I can tolerate this smell even if I have a headache. It doesn't bother me. So this is what I use all summer long. It's Baby Magic and a little bit of body splash and that's the only way I can feel still feel like a woman you know and wear perfume or body splash but don't also make myself sick at the same time because since I gotta work I don't have it like that so I go to work rain sleet shine dogs barking kids hollering whatever I'm still going to work so you know you gotta make it work for you you know you do. Okay, so I hope that helps out a lot. Okay, let's get to the more luxury items. Designer items? Do I call them designer items? Um, I don't know what the hell you call these. Um, I guess designer, name brand, I don't know. But they're not cheap, let's just say that. Okay, the first thing I've been loving is why y'all didn't put me up on this NARS a long time ago? Like, I've never been really a person that go into, like, Sephora or Ulta and go check for NARS. And we got a NARS store here in Atlanta, too. Never been the type that go do that. Because I never check for NARS. Because NARS usually make foundation for people with dry skin. And y'all know, look, I don't have dry skin at all. So, but I have been really liking this, especially for the winter months. This NARS, <coughs> this is... <coughs> Semi-matte, all-day, luminous, weightless foundation. It says shake well. <laughs> I, I, I should have learned my lesson because I didn't shake this and I just uh, seemed like the oils came out. But I've been really feeling this. Y'all know this is like, how much should I pay for this? I think this is $50. So to me, that's high-end because most of my foundations are not over maybe twenty thirty dollars that's how much most of my foundations are this is like 50 okay so that's high end I've been really liking this speaking of NARS I've also been liking the NARS concealer this used to be a concealer that I wore a lot <clears throat> back in the day this concealer this radiant creamy concealer I this is not the color I usually wear because this color is a little dark it's almost my skin color so I should have got it a little lighter so I can have a little lighter under eye. Y'all know, for the last probably two or three years, I have not been into like that super light under eye look. That's just not been me. I just, I kind of want my under eyes to blend with the rest of my skin. So yeah, I've been using this. Y'all, the sun I think is trying to come go down, which is good because it's been snowing here in the A today. But this weather is so bipolar because now it's like 60 degrees outside. 
So anyways, this is something, I think this is like $30, $32, 30 something. The other NARS, I had to pick me up another one because I have hit pan on the other NARS concealer and this is the same amount. This is soft matte. This is their um, like highest concentrated concealer. This is a dark coffee. I can't even get it out. No, 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 why I'm trying to do all that. So it's just this, you know, it's in a, you know, I also use this on my spots on my face when I'm not like, uh, I don't feel like wearing a full face of foundation like today, I have this on. Well, I have the old one on. I haven't used this one yet. Okay, another one is my Smashbox. Um, this is a liquid lipstick, and this is in um, Throwback Jam. And it do look like something from back in the 90s. It is so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. I've worn this in so many of my videos. So this is like, I think this was like $35. Okay, so these are probably the most high-end products that I have as far as makeup. Um, yeah, and I don't own this purse either. But I got this for Christmas. And this is the Chanel, I don't know how to speak French. Natural finish, loose powder, but I put her whatever. I don't know what that says right there. But it's by Chanel. Um, I'm using this very, very lightly. Like this is like when I go out with the girls type, maybe, I don't know, I wouldn't even take this on a vacation type. I just want to be glammed up, geeked up. You heard me? I would wear this because this is not cheap. This is like $60. And they gave me a little Chanel bag because I complained. In one of my vlogs, y'all seen me complaining about that. So they reach out. You know, when you buy luxury and high-end products, it doesn't matter if it's a purse, a car, or whatever. A lot of times, their customer service reach out to me. So uh, the Chanel uh, company actually reached out to me and asked me, you know, what could they do for me? You know, how could they make me, you know, um, happy in my shopping, ex my next shopping experience? A lot better and I said I want a Chanel bag so guess what they gave me one <laughs> so yeah this is sis this is $60 I got so much under eye powder I don't even need to use this a lot but I got it for Christmas and y'all already know my Chanel lip gloss constant I'm getting ready to go get another one and for Valentine's Day I always like to buy myself a high-end lip gloss and a nice handbag um, I already bought the handbag um, I actually got to go pick it up because it was um, signature only and I was not at home to sign for it so they sent it back to the UPS store so in it's closed the actual UPS big store whatever that's by our airport airport in the A so I actually got to go pick it up Monday because they're not open on the weekends so yes and I'll show you guys that in another video so I'm, I'm I'm getting my spring girl on. Y'all know my sister's 40th birthday is coming up. My little sister's birthday is coming up. So we getting ready to get it. So I'm getting ready to take a road trip um, probably next month. And it's going to be a solo road trip because I just want to spend time with my family. But anyways, this is one. Y'all, I'm always getting off subject talking about random stuff. But anyways, you guys have seen this in plenty of my videos. And I've been rocking this a lot over the winter months. Okay. So let's get into this. I am so looking forward to wearing this, y'all. I got these from, um, wait, it's on the back, Forever 21. They were having a, the whole store 50% off. So these are originally $5.90. So I got these for about, what, $2.80? You know, so yeah. I am so looking forward to wearing these. Y'all, I'm so tired of the cold weather because it's tearing me up. I don't usually like the summertime. I just like the springtime weather, but anywho. Okay, so I got this sweater. Y'all, I have gotten so many clothes since the last video I've made, but I've pretty much wore most of them. So um, yeah, they're in the dirty clothes. They need to be washed. So anyways, um, I got this sweater from H&M. 
Y'all, do y'all see that detail on there? Do you see that detail? The sun is going down. Oh my goodness. I am going to do a vision board dinner with my good friends, which pretty much the only one that'll probably show up is a road dog, Santa. So my best friend, but uh, we're gonna do a vision, I think I'm gonna do a vision board um, dinner and I'm looking very like, forward to wearing this sweater. Like, this was like the last one this is even a medium. I should. I needed a large, but they didn't have one, so I, I can fit this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and accept this because I wanted this so bad, and it was nineteen dollars. And last but not least, because I'm not gonna pretty much make a lot of videos about the winter because it's actually almost up. So I'm not gonna keep talking about the winter. So this is last but not least. I've been wanting this sweater since it hit Old Navy, but I was not about to pay, how much is this? I was not about to pay, they took the tag off of it. I think this was like 50 or $60, I wasn't gonna do that. Sis, guess how much I got this for? Like $11, about $11. And this is in a large, and I'm going to probably wear this Monday because I got a lot of errands to run, and of course, I'm not gonna wear this. It's, it's actually a dress, but of course I'm not gonna wear this as a dress. No, I don't like dresses, and I've talked about this in another vlog. I don't like skirts either. So I would probably just put like a pair of really skinny jeans under these, or jeggings, no leggings, jeggings, and some boots. Yeah, that is so cute. It just reminds me of like the Huxtables like that late 80s 90s like I'm just obsessed with that look everybody knows me knows that I am like a Abercrombie and Fitch uh H&M um uh, Old Navy Gap Banana Republic type shopper I'm not a real like forever 21 shopper or like trendy type clothes like pretty little thing or What's the other one? Um, see, I don't even know. I'm not those type of shoppers. Like, I don't shop at places like Rainbow. I don't wear those type of clothes. I'm more, I shop more like at Soccer Mama type stores because that's the type of clothes I like. And I've always been this way, like, as long as I can remember. And I can remember a while back, I've always dressed that way. I'm just not a trendy type dresser. I mean, I'm trendy. I mean, but I'm soccer mom trendy. <laughs> okay, guys, this video is going on 24 minutes, so I want to end it because it's going to be extremely long. And you guys, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a wonderful weekend. Mwah.